Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to throw on a pink bright neon <laughs> backdrop for Valentine's Day. I know that Valentine's Day is actually this Friday, so I feel like it landed on a perfect day to go out, especially if you work Monday through Friday. You can relax a Friday night um, with your honey you, or your significant other. Um, of course, if you work Saturday, it's okay, I do. So I work um, Wednesday through Saturday, so I won't be enjoying Valentine's Day with my husband until Saturday night. So I just figured let's do a Valentine's Day makeup Makeup tutorial for you guys today. Um, I am thinking of doing something more dramatic, but tomorrow I am filming something more subtle. Um, it's a makeup look that I actually did um, yesterday. I think I posted it yesterday on Instagram. I'll post a picture here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's something more simple, more glowy, more fresh, um, and honestly, just some pair of individual lashes brows and a soft lip. Not really a soft lip because obviously it's a bright pink, <laughs> but overall everything else is very neutral, very soft and toned down except for the lip. But today I really wanted to sit here and do something more dramatic, more fun, um, and for all of those girls who like a more heavy eye. Um, so for the brows, I went ahead and already did them. I am using the Benefit um, Cabral. It's the number four. I know that I have black hair, but I can honestly get away with using shade number four. They do have a a darker shade than this. Before we start off with the eyeshadow tutorial, I'm gonna go into some eye masks. These are from Estee Lauder. It's the Advanced Night Repair. What's cool about these, you guys, is that the pads are right here and then you just place them inside this little gel stuff and you let it soak just like this. And all I do is push that down and just move it around like this. This feels so good. Oh, love, love, love. So I changed my background, I decided to switch it up back to the backdrops because I don't know, I kind of like it a little bit better than what I had previously. I just didn't know what I really, really want for my background. So I was like, you know what, I'm not digging what I currently have, like I thought I was going to. So I just went back. Now that the gel pads are on, now it's starting to prep our eyes. I'm going to go into the usual Urban Decay Eden Primer. You can find this at Ulta, Sephora, UrbanDecay.com. And I just love this stuff because it has, it kind of looks like a concealer. And I feel like it just covers up my eye really well. And I really personally feel like the eyeshadows stand out more when I use this primer. And of course, I'm going to go into my Sigma Concealer Brush F75. Use code SANDY for 10% off any purchase at Sigma. Now I'm going to go into my uh, Morphe brush. This is just to blend out the concealer, but you can use any fluffy brush or whatever brush you have or your beauty blender. But I like to use this because it really lays it really nice and flat and it blends it out beautiful. I have a lot of different palettes that I think I want to use. I don't know yet. <laughs> don't judge me, but I have all of these and oh my gosh, what a coincidence, they're all Anastasia. Um, but I also have the Be Perfect times Stacey Marie um, and I have the Morphe times Jeffree Star one as well. Um, so I don't know. I'd probably be going back and forth into a few and of course I will list the palettes that I decide to use in today's video down below in the description box if you guys are interested in shopping for any of these. Now that our eyes are ready to go, I'm going to go into the Be Perfect um, Time Stacy Marie palette and I'm picking up the shade called Wifey and using my Morphe M513 brush, I'm going to apply this all over my crease and then buff it in going towards the inner and outer corner just like I normally do my eyeshadows. Now if you guys don't have this palette, you are seriously missing out. It's honestly one of the best palettes that I have in my collection. Um, it is so pigmented, it's not chalky, it is so good. I really want the volume 2 that they have with Stacey Marie but I've heard that this one is actually better. Um, but I just feel like these are perfect um, palettes if you want to create anything colorful and vibrant, especially for like Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day. It's a really good palette to have. Still using the same Morphe brush, I'm going to go into the shade called Funky, this bright pink, neon pink, and I'm going to place it right on above Wifey just to blend out any harsh lines. Now I'm going to go into the Anastasia Times Amrezy and picking up the shade called Semsa, a nice darker um, burgundy shade. And I'm going to place this right in the crease and do the exact same thing and buff it towards the outer and inner corner. I just want to intensify the eyeshadow a little bit more, but I do go back into the Stacey Marie into that first shade that we use, which is called Wifey. 
and back into funky and just start to blend all these three together until I am completely satisfied with what I have. So this is the perfect time since it's the base, you want it to be perfect, so just keep blending away. And then I'm gonna go into Yugo and taking my Morphe M433, I'm gonna start to build up the intensity using that shade um, from the MRZ times ABH. And I'm gonna place it right in the crease and again, buff it in towards the inner and outer corner and we are gonna extend it going outwards to kind of create, it's kind of like a cut crease. So we wanna extend the eyeshadow um, more out versus hugging the eyelid, if that makes any sense. Um, and here, again, you just want to keep building up the eyeshadows, going back into Yugo, Semsa, and Wifey. And just like I mentioned, I'm going back into the ABH Times Emrezy, um, the shade called Semsa, and just buffing it above the shade um, that we placed earlier, which is Yugo. And now I'm going to go back into the F75 by Sigma, this brush, and going into my Urban Decay Eden Primer. And here is where I'm going to start creating my heart. Um, you definitely don't have to do this. Again, this is a more fun tutorial, something different for Valentine's Day. So I'm creating a heart cut crease. You can create just a regular cut crease or create the heart as you want. I've seen people on Instagram do it backwards, um, but I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it the other side. Um, so take your time. This was actually pretty challenging for me, um, to be honest. Um, but I had a lot of fun doing this. It's something totally different than what I'm normally used to, but what the heck, this is makeup. It's not permanent, just have fun with it. And I'm praying that <laughs> the other side comes out the same and whatever. I don't think they're identical, but I tried. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go into the shade called, um, what's it called? Barb from the ABH Times Amrezy, and I'm gonna place it all over where we place the concealer to create our heart. And I'm using, I believe it's the um, MAC 239S, which I'll link it down below. And then I'm gonna go into my NYX white um, eyeliner and I'm gonna just um, outline the heart to make it um, pop out a little bit more. You don't have to do this, you can actually put more glitter if you want. It's up to you with whatever you wanna create. Using my Sedona Lace EB21 brush, I'm picking up the shade called Samsa, and I'm gonna start to create a um, little baby wing towards the outer corner and really smoking this area out. And then to intensify it a little bit more, I'm going back into the shade called Yugo. Um, and then I do bring it down towards the um, bottom lash line towards the outer corner. Um, and then after I've done that, I'm gonna go back into a MAC 266 brush and I'm gonna do the exact same thing and pick up the shade called Yugo and Semsa and just try to apply it as close to the lash line as possible. For mascara, I'm gonna go into Total Temptation Mascara by Maybelline before we apply some falsies. And the ones that I'm using today is by Blanca Flor Mink Lashes, one of my girlfriends, and this is in the style called Goddess. You guys also had questions about these tweezers. I actually get them at um, Walmart or Walgreens. They are regular tweezers to pluck out your eyebrows, but I've been using these tweezers, I think, ever since like high school. These lashes, though, are so pretty. I love them. I love how it has a nice soft band, um, and they don't feel heavy at all, and I feel like it's perfect for this look because I don't want something too full or too long at the outer corners. I still want it more wispy, so we can definitely see the details in the eyeshadow. Okay, so now that the lashes are on our eyes, I'm gonna go into my primer. So I'm gonna go into the Too Faced Hangover Primer, which I love, and I'm just gonna apply this everywhere. Oh, it feels so good. And don't mind my hands, you guys. I did self-tan a couple days ago, so they look real ratchet, okay. For foundation today, since I am a little self-tan, I don't have this foundation in a more darker tone. So I'm going to mix it with the um, Maybelline um, Super Stay Foundation um, in the shade 332 Golden Caramel. Now, I would just use this alone, but it's a little bit too on, like, it's too dark. <laughs> so I'm going to mix these two together, and I'm going to use my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. The self-tanner that I do use, you guys, is Loving Tan, and you're going to find it at Ulta. It is pretty spendy, it's like 30 something dollars, but it does last you a very long time because I've actually already self-tanned more than once. And I love using these two foundations, they're my 
favorite foundations right now. So apparently my camera was not recording when I applied my concealer, but it's the same way that I normally do apply it, and it's the KKW Beauty in the shade number 6. So I've had this on for a little bit already, so I'm going to go ahead and start to blend it out. I do let my concealer sit here for a few minutes. Um, this allows to give you a better um, full coverage look and a more flawless application. Of course, I would probably think that if you have a more, um, if you have a concealer that dries a lot faster than this, um, I would definitely not let it sit there for a long time. But that's why I really love the KKW Beauty concealers because they blend so well and you have that time to blend it out. So normally the shade number six is not for me, it's too dark, but right now it's perfect. Now to add a little bit more brightness, I'm going to go into shade number four. Again, it's the KKW Beauty. And I'm going to apply it right here just to add more brightness. To cream contour, I'm going to go into the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Chest Chest yeah, Chestnut. <laughs> and then to blend this out, you guys, I'm going to go into this brush from Do Care. I got it in one of my boxy charm boxes and I love to use it to cream contour. So I'm just going to place it like this and start to buff it into the skin. And remember that a little bit of product goes such a long way. And then take it towards the temple. And then just take your time to blend everything out. You don't want to rush when it comes to cream contour because you don't want it to look patchy or cakey. I go back into my beauty blender and just to blend out any harsh lines. Now I'm going to flip over the beauty sponge and use the butt. And I'm going to start to blend this out and just buff it out this way. And it really gives you that brightness that you want without it being too crazy. Now, if I would have gone into shade number three or number two from the KKW Beauty Concealer, it would give you a really bright under eye. But I don't want it to look super bright. I just want a little brightness, but not too much. For bronzer, we're going to go back to a oldie but a goodie. And I'm going into the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. I'm using my Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush, the F40, to apply my bronzer. And we're just setting the areas where we applied the cream contour and just set that. And I love how bronzer just gives you that definition, that darkness. And then with whatever you have left on your brush, just start to buff it in a little bit like that. I'm just going into a fluffy brush, apply the contour, and then buff it in towards the brows. Now to set my face, I'm going to go into the Maybelline, the Shine Free Loose Powder in shade 01, which is the one that I've been using a lot. I love that it has a beige undertone. And for the price, hell yeah! I'm just setting the areas where I place the concealer. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go into my Morphe M432 and picking up Yugo and Semsa from the ABH and Anastasia palette and just smoke out the lower lash line. I'm going into like this purple brush by Morphe, which I'll link the set down below so you guys can purchase. Um, I've been loving these little brushes <laughs> and I've been just using the shade called Semsa um, to smoke that out a little bit more. And then I'm going into the KKW Beauty. This is just a black eye pencil and I'm going to apply my waterline and tie line my eyes. For my bottom lashes, I'm picking up the Bang Mascara by Benefit. I love this mascara, guys, for my bottom lashes. I love the wand. I feel like it's perfect for my lower lashes. Okay, so now it's time to dust away the setting powder. I'm just using this fluffy brush. This is from Moda, R&L Moda. I think I also got this in my BoxyCharm box. And what I normally like to do, you guys, is just to blend the powder into my skin and place it all over my face to set everything. For blush, I'm going to go into this Morphe Palette Blush Trio. This is Pop of Fusia, which is this little palette right here. And I'm going to go into this blush shade called Hot. And to apply my blush, I'm going to go into my Sigma Powder F10 Blush Brush. And I'm just going to pick up some of this and smile and then start to apply your blush. I like to apply my blush going upwards like this, going this way, which will really make my face look more skinny. And for highlight, I'm going to go into my Ofra Cosmetics um, in the highlight shade Rodeo Drive using my Artist Couture AC03 brush. Again, they don't sell this in stores just yet. I don't know when he will come out with his brushes, but I will link an alternative down below if you guys are interested by Morphe. 
So now it's time for the lips, you guys, and it's the last step, actually no, the second to last step of this makeup application. Um, so I'm gonna go into the Sigma Liquid Lipstick in the shade um, New Mod. You can totally do a more of a nude lipstick if you like. I mean, I know that the eyes are super out there, but with being Valentine's Day, I definitely wanna add a pop of color. And then for my lip pencil, I'm gonna go into the Morphe Sugar Pie Lip Pencil. And then going into the Sigma Liquid Lipstick in the shade New Mod, this lip color, you guys, is so beautiful. I love it. I can't believe I haven't used it in a very long time. And then I'm just going to use my finger just to blot and make it all look very smooth. Okay, so now it's time for the final step of this makeup application to the All Nighter um, Ultra Matte Setting Spray by Urban Decay. All right, my honey. So this is it for today's Valentine's Day makeup look. Of course, like I said at the beginning of the intro today, it was going to be more intense, more editorial. Um, but I mean, girl, if you are down to wear this on your dinner date on Valentine's Day, please tag me on Instagram. So I would love to see you with your date having this eyeshadow look. <laughs> But of course, I will bring something more subtle, more wearable. Um, tomorrow is where I'm going to film that video for you guys and hopefully be up by Thursday, so a day before Valentine's Day. If you like this, please give it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you do recreate this eyeshadow look, please, please tag me on Instagram because I would love to see your guys' recreations. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video, you guys. Have a beautiful Valentine's Day. I love you so much. Besitos y los quiero mucho. Hasta luego.